A few weeks back, we made a video asking where we should go and what we should do. Stay in Mexico or leave. Our visas were running out. We needed to make a decision. So, this video is about the decision that we have made. We are the Culture Trotters! In late February, we left the States with nothing more than carry-on to become a full-time world-traveling family. Three weeks in, COVID-19 shut down the world and changed everything. It's been quite the adventure writing things out in Mexico. Click that subscribe button and join us as we explore the reopening of Mexico and the world. It wasn't easy. To, well, no way it was easy because there are very few places that are open that we can go to. And the few that are open, sometimes you really couldn't do anything once you got there. You did 15 days quarantine beforehand or you couldn't go to restaurants, or you couldn't go wherever. And we wanted to experience the life wherever we went. So. Self-quarantining in a different country is a lot like self-quarantining at home. So originally the plan was to head through Central and South America, kind of one country at a time. Many of the countries in South America are still locked down. There's actually many people in Mexico waiting for the Guatemala border to open so they can continue their journey. So we had to come to the conclusion that Central and South America were just going to be out of the question. And it was time to take a jump across the ocean. <laughs> A few of the countries that were open but still had restrictions were Ireland. Mm -hmm. um, you could come into Ireland, do a two-week quarantine, and then that would open up other parts of Europe to you. But Ireland's kind of expensive. It's more expensive than any other place in the UK and expensive because it's Europe. And Europe wasn't really what we were trying to explore mm -hmm. right now. We also really wanted to try Southeast Asia. But while it suggested it was opening, it turned mm -hmm. out it didn't really open. <laughs> We found out a lot. A lot of countries were going to be opening or they were open. When you looked into it, they weren't really open. They only opened for certain people or certain times. Or when you got there, you could only, like Belize, you can come in, but you can only stay at the hotel. You can't leave the hotel. <laughs> it's not really open. And since we're not vacationing in countries and trying to live in countries, going to a country and then staying in an expensive hotel just isn't in our budget or what we're trying to do. So in a way, that made it kind of easy because there were very few countries that were open and would let you do things once you got there. So after all of our researching and narrowing it down off of the few countries we could actually travel to, we've decided to go to Tanzania, Africa. To get to Tanzania from San Cristobal, we have to go from San Cristobal to Cancun, Cancun to Houston, Houston to Qatar, and Qatar to Tanzania. This process will take several days of flying and staying in airports because the, some of the places we are flying to are still in quarantine, so you can't even leave the airport. It does give us the benefit that when we hit Houston, we'll be there for about 22 hours. So we're planning on doing a whirlwind shopping tour. So things you just can't get in Mexico, and you can't, and we're presuming you can't get in Tanzania, which we're going to try and pick up in Houston, like. Shoes for Robert. <laughs> Many of you thinking, Tanzania, are you crazy? Apparently we are. We're not going to know the language, the culture. Luckily, thanks to Crystal's dad. Thanks, dad. <laughs> we have a contact in Arusha. We're also very excited because the, the our contacts are missionaries, and so we'll be able to work on some volunteering and charity projects, so stay tuned for that. And wish us luck that we'll be able to go on a safari and maybe meet the Maasai. I'm hoping to climb Kilimanjaro. Turns out it's kind of pricey <laughs> to I'm walk hoping up to a let hill. Her climb Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Mexico is a very different culture. They had different attitudes, they did different things. But it was Spanish. Spanish is similar to English. A lot of the words are similar. You can decode Spanish. So you don't necessarily speak Spanish, but you can figure it out. Tanzania and Swahili. Very different. <laughs> we know one word going in, and that is way, way, which just means you. <laughs> as far as the nitty gritty details, we're a little concerned because when you look at Airbnb and you see things about the place, you expect like nice living room or, or all amenities. We see things like we have electricity all 24 hours. <laughs> Things, things like Wi-Fi may be really hard to come by or hot water. Yeah, there's another one. Was, we have hot water here. So, so we're not sure what to expect and what's normal and not normal. Yeah. It's a jump. It's a jump in the unknown. We went on this trip to find things that were different. We didn't want to go to hotels and be in the same beachfront hotel in four different countries. I think one of the decisions for us to leave Mexico 
was we were getting comfortable. It was, it's very comfortable in San Cristobal. We could eat out every night. It's very affordable. Um, we had a beautiful house, but it's time to step beyond our comfort and go see what else is out there. So we've done a few things here in Mexico we still need to tell you about, such as getting lost around the lake, <laughs> getting rescued. We took a little break, but we're back now, and we're working on those, and we'll get those out to you. And then you'll see about our trip, our, what is it, a... I think it's going to be about 50 hours. About three days, <laughs> yes. more than 50, like 60 70, 60, 70 hours of a trip. Stay tuned as we finish up our trip here in Mexico, and in a few weeks we'll be heading off to Tanzania, Africa. Ooh. Yeah.